What's happening guys, welcome back to another F123 video. In this video, I'm going to be facing 110 AI at Austria without any force feedback. That means that when I'm going through the corners, I won't feel anything. When the tires are wearing out, we won't be able to feel it. So we will have to go purely off of muscle memory and vision. And the goal of this video is to obviously win. All right, so we're doing one shot quality just so that I can retire from the session so we can start last. This is uh, 25 laps at Austria with no force feedback. This should be very, very interesting. Can we get up the, through the field? And actually win this Grand Prix. Okay then guys, here we go. Starting in last place here as Lewis Hamilton. We've got five red lights here for the Austrian Grand Prix. And lights out of the way we go. Getting a really good start on the mediums. But you know what? We'll hang back a little bit and then we'll start making moves as we go into turn one. Can't you literally cannot feel anything? Like every single slight movement I make, I feel like I'm just gonna end up turning off the track. Oh, Almost break into the back of Logan there as we go three wide into turn three with Lance Stroll and Joe Guan Yu. Actually, it's, it's about off one. I feel like I'm understeering literally into every corner. Okay, that's the first lap done. I can see a couple of people battling way up ahead into turn one. I'm hoping that kind of causes an incident so we can actually get past some of the AI as well on this lap. We'll use some of our ERS. Hopefully, we can dive bomb. Ocon and maybe even the freeze Ed. Okay, maybe not the freeze, but Ocon definitely. Oh my god. Beautiful exit on the medium tires. How are we getting a better exit on mediums? I don't know. Not ideal to be going side by side uh, into turn four at Austria with Lewis Hamilton <laughs> with a car that is technically a part of the Red Bull family. Last time that happened, it didn't go too, too well for Alec. Albon is all over the back of Hamilton who once again forces in the long way round. Norris goes the long way round on oh Paris. No, and again. Again. One thing I've just realized as well, we won't be able to feel when we're locking up the tires. Because usually you would know you're locking up the tires by the fact that the wheel goes light. But since the wheel is light all the time, as we go around the outside of Magnus, and that was a nice move, we're not we're just not gonna be able to know when we're understeering or when we lock up the tires. And that is the part of this challenge that makes it probably the most difficult. Because if we lock up the tires, we're pretty much a goner. Oh, Albon and Gasly going side by side, and that gives us the opportunity to get a much better exit out of turn one. We're going to go out the, around the outside here. Alex Albon trying to push us off the track. I think he's looking for a revenge for a couple of years ago when he was in Red Bull. But we managed to go around the outside of them both. Okay. Okay. Even without force feedback, we're still absolute beast on the track okay we're already up into p9 and it's lap five so right now we're in a pretty pretty good position here all i need to do is just catch up to this little train and then i can use them potentially to slingshot my way to the guys ahead i'm seeing a white cup is holkenberg in like p6 or something what's going on here holkenberg is cooking in the game as well as real life oh they went a little bit slower through there. I think it was three wide. That's Alonso, Norris, and Russell. Russell is playing the team game. I love that. What an exit. What an exit. What's going on? How am I driving better without force feedback than I do with force feedback? Maybe for my next creator series race, I should just race without force feedback. Because apparently I'm better. Okay, let's see if we can use... DRS from Norris slingshot ourselves a little bit. Holkenberg is actually in P5. He's cooking. I mean, battling here with Norris is not helping us, though. No, no! New race strategy on your MFT if you want to go and check it out. Okay, so yeah, we spun. We lost the front wing. We're going to have to go on hards for the rest of this Grand Prix. Uh, Yeah. I'm going to stick to the to the normal plan that we usually do in these videos. I'm not going to use any flashbacks for it just to try and get to first place. We'll do it as raw as possible. If I spin and lose a front wing, then it is what it is. Now, now we're faced with a tough one because I'm going to have to pit, which means we're probably going to be last. And I'm literally going to have to get through the field again but on hard tires this time. Oscar Piastri is out. Wait, what? Why? We managed to get past Yuki Sonoda and that's it. So we are literally 
starting essentially from last again. Except this time, we don't have 25 laps to get to first place. We're probably only going to have about 12 at most. Now, to be fair, to be fair, it did only take us nine laps to get to P5. So if we're just as aggressive on the safety car restart as we was at the actual start, it is possible we can do this. It is going to be harder though, because the hard compounds, obviously the compound with the least grip. Racing again, the safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there's no overtaking until the- The safety car is going in. It's literally been a lap. That's the quickest safety car I've seen in my life. Okay, well, lights out and we are gone again. As we already get past some people who've gone into the pits, didn't have the opportunity to, to pit and yeah, they've kind of been screwed over here. Yeah, this might be more difficult than before because the mediums felt, well, I guess they didn't technically feel anything, but the hards, it looks like they're really slow. All right, we're sending it. We're sending it on Yuki. We're going around the outside. Oh, beautiful. Take that, Joe. I think I just said Yuki when I meant Joe. Yeah, the hard tires are just so slow. But look at the amount of battles going on ahead. We could take advantage of this. Oh! <laughs> okay. That was almost a massive incident. Perez, what are you doing down here, buddy? The front, the front three are already gone. So it's going to be hard to catch up to them. But we'll try our best as Bottas has a little bit of a slide that compromises Albon. And it looks like we're going to overtake him into turn one. Look at Russell and Bottas. Good job. Nice overtake. It's like these two are fighting for the Mercedes seat. But you know who isn't fighting for the Mercedes seat? Lewis Hamilton as he absolutely dive bombs it. I think I've found my hidden talent on this game. Apparently, I'm better at driving without force feedback than I am with force feedback. And to be fair, it, it is kind of a win-win because I'm not going to be as tired by the end of the video because I'm not fighting a wheel. Interesting line from Hulkenberg there. Oh my god, we almost lost it on traction. That was a very interesting line to just follow Alonso into that corner like that. But okay, send it down the inside. Love to see it. We're up into P5. This is where we were when we spun. We were battling with Norris for the P5 position. Now we're in P5. We're not battling with Norris. Trying to make our way up to Fernando Alonso. And then literally four and a half seconds up the road is Charles Leclerc in P3. All right, let's see if we can overtake Alan, uh, Alon, Alando. Fernando into turn four. Break late. He leaves us the room and we get the exit. Let's go. Four seconds now to Leclerc. We could possibly catch him up by the end of this race. I think we would have definitely won this race had we not spun. But whether or not we can win it now is a completely different question. We've got nine laps though. Ho, 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 eight attempt on that last lap. That's crazy. We're pushing like hell. I'm actually starting to sweat a little, a little bit, which is crazy because again, no force feedback. We're not actually fighting the wheel. To turn these corners. We're in the DRS. Let's go. If we could just hold on to this. If we could just keep up with him for the rest of this lap, please. Yes, we're in the DRS. <laughs> this is brilliant. I think we've pretty much guaranteed ourselves a podium here, unless we make a mistake. We're definitely not going to get the win because the clerk, uh, not the clerk, Signs and Verstappen are currently battling seven, six, seven seconds ahead of us right now. All right, it's, it's, it's very smart to just stay behind Charles right now. Build up a little bit of ERS and then attack on the final lap. Again, we're not going to catch up to the two up ahead. So there's no point in passing Charles right now. So I'm playing that DRS chicken right now so that we can secure this podium. I can't believe we've managed to actually catch him up. Look at Norris, eight seconds back. We're on hards. And here we go. We're about to cross the line for the final lap. We're going to overtake him right here, right now. Ooh, there we go, podium. Oh, he's fighting it. 
He's fighting it. No. That's not what we want. Oh, what an... We gained a second off of that exit. Are you serious? We're cheating. We're cheating. That's the only way I can explain that. Who, like someone's installed cheats onto my computer without me knowing. It must have been Grippy1. Because apparently apparently me and, and Grippy1 are two different people. Not sure how that became a thing. But yeah, apparently he's installed cheats onto my computer. Carlos Sainz is going to take the victory. I think we could have won this pretty easily if we didn't spin. But we take the podium anyway. All I can say is that was an incredible race. That was a really, really fun race to do. Guys, make sure that if you have a will, make sure you take part in this challenge and let me know how you got on down in the comment section below. I think we could have won this race pretty easily if I didn't spin because by lap nine, we was in P5. So I think we could have caught up to the rest of those guys. But even so, uh, I mean, it, on hard tires, 11 laps or so, and we still managed to push our way to a podium. So I will happily, happily take that. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash the like button. I would like to thank all of my channel members for helping support this channel. If you do want to support this channel, pass just liking and subscribing. Make sure to check the join button down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.